In this video, we're going to cover basic banking navigation within QuickBooks. As you can see, we're in a sample company on the dashboard. This is the screen that you will arrive at when you first log into QuickBooks. Over in this section, you will see our linked bank accounts. Let's go ahead and select one. We'll begin work on our credit card. As you can see, this now brings us over here to the banking menu. And once you are on the banking menu, you can select which account you would like to work on as well. So you can either select the account from the dashboard or once you come to the banking menu. When you have linked accounts in QuickBooks, it automatically pulls in your transactions from each linked account and puts them on a for review tab. If for some reason QuickBooks has not updated your accounts recently, and you'll be able to tell that because this will say last updated one day ago or two days ago, simply click the update button and that should connect with your accounts and bring in your new transactions. So in QuickBooks, the flow is that your linked accounts bring in your data your data appears on this for review tab, and then it's your job then to categorize those transactions. Once you have categorized those transactions, they will appear in your in QuickBooks tab. Let's do an example. Here is an Amazon purchase. The add button is selected because we are going to add this to QuickBooks. And then we're going to select the account that makes sense. We've already created a lot of new accounts in our customized chart of account, but simply scroll through here and decide which account matches that purchase. So at Amazon, let's say that this was office supplies. So we'll go ahead and select that and then add. And now you'll notice that account is now in the in QuickBooks. The excluded tab is for every once in a while you might have like a duplicate. It doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while it's like the same transaction gets brought in twice. And then in that case, you can simply select the transaction and right here, batch actions go to exclude. And that will show up over here. Now, once again, that is only for transactions that are in error. So a transaction that was maybe brought in in duplicate. This does not happen very much, uh, but if you need to, you can use the exclude feature. Let's go ahead and undo that transaction because we do not want to exclude that. Let's head to checking. We'll go to our for review tab. And this time let's categorize this transaction, a rental. I am not sure what a rental stands for in our sample company. Let's say it stands for its supplies. We'll go ahead and add. And by the way, in this sample company that we're using is a higher level of QuickBooks. In the QuickBooks Simple Start, you will not have this section. So that's why I've been ignoring this. And QuickBooks Simple Start is the version that I highly recommend. So we can just ignore this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click Add. And you'll notice now we have a transaction appearing in green coded to supplies. That's because QuickBooks recognized that we had already recorded a transaction to a rental and it is suggesting that we record that to supplies. I go, if you disagree with the QuickBooks suggestion, you can simply click on the transaction and find the appropriate category that actually applies. But 
If in our case, we agree with QuickBooks that it should go to supplies, we can simply hit add. Okay, that is the basic navigation of the banking within QuickBooks. Your transactions will come in. They will land in the for review tab. You can simply categorize them and then they will show up in QuickBooks.